Hello and welcome to the AI, your English news bulletin. I'm your host Akivito and these are the headlines. The Isaac Muiva faction of the National Socialist Council of Nagaland has questioned the central government's handling of the Naga peace talks and term signing of ceasefire agreement with its surrogate factions as a futile exercise. On Monday, first-time BJP MLA Bhupendra Patel took oath as the 17th Chief Minister of Gujarat, replacing Vijay Rupani, who served as the CM from 2016 to 2021. He was administered the oath of office and secrecy by Gujarat Governor Acharya Devrat at the Raj Bhavan in Gandhinagar. BJP leader and party's Bhavanipur Assembly Bipol candidate Priyanka Tibrawal on Monday lashed out at the Mamta Banerjee government over rising incidents of violence in the state. She urged people of Bhavanipur to make history by defeating Mamta in her home turf. Bharat Biotech's Covaxin will get approval from the World Health Organization this week sources told agency news ANI. The government had informed parliament in July that it has submitted all documents required for emergency use listing. And now the news in details. The Isaac Muiva faction of the National Socialist Council of Nagalim, NSCNIM, has questioned the central government's handling of the Naga peace talks and term signing of ceasefire agreement with its surrogate factions a futile exercise. In a statement issued on Sunday, the group said there was only one Naga issue and there will be only one Naga solution and the centre would unnecessarily complicate the issue by going for many agreements under false pretexts that bear no political meaning towards the Naga solution. This deceptive manner of handling the Naga issue leaves us with no option but to ask one serious question to the government of India. Will it enter into agreements with other people also on Naga political issue in the name of stakeholders? But this will in no way show the sincerity the government of the government. This will simply be a breach of trust and a mockery of the Naga issue. The statement said, the NSA and IM, which signed a ceasefire agreement with the centre in 1997, claims to be the one and only authentic political organisation of the Naga people, with whom centre started a political dialogue on the basis of mutually agreed points without any conditions in third countries. The group termed the recent agreement signed with NSANK led Nikisumi deceitful dealing, generating doubts if the centre was sincere about a solution. The NSA and IM statement said it was critically important at this stage for the centre to reaffirm its position and commitment on the framework agreement. It said both the centre and the Naga people had much to gain from the framework agreement and the NSA and IM will stick to the agreement in any eventuality. First term MLA Bhupendra Patel was on Monday sworn in as Gujarat Chief Minister two days after Vijay Rupani's surprise exit from the post a year ahead of the assembly polls. Patel 59, unanimously elected BJP Legislature Party leader on Sunday, was sworn in as the state's 17th Chief Minister by Governor Acharya Devrat at a simple ceremony in Ahmedabad. Union Home Minister Amit Shah and Chief Ministers of some BJP rule states were among those present at the Raj Bhavan ceremony. Bhupendra Bhai Radnikan Patel Ishwar ne, Ishwar ne, Name Sogand Launchunke, Name Sogand Launchunke, Kaeda Thi Stapit Bharatna Samvidan Prate, Kaeda Thi Stapit Bharatna Samvidan Prate, Hum, Hum, Sachi Shadha Ane Nishta Dharavish, Sachi Nishta Shadha, Shadha Ane Nishta Dharavish, Hum, Hum, भारतना सार्व भौमत्वनु अने भारतना सार्व भौमत्वनु अने अखंडतानु समर्थन करिश अखंडतानु समर्थन करिश अने अने हूँ हूँ गुजरात राज्यना मुख्यमंत्री तरीके ना गुजरात राज्यना मुख्यमंत्री तरीके ना मारा कर्तव्यो मारा कर्तव्यो श्रद्धा पूर्वक अने करण पूर्वक बजाविश 
श्रद्धापूर्वक अंतकरण पूर्वक बजाश भय के पक्षपात भय के पक्षपात राग के द्वेष विना राग के द्वेष विना तमाम लोको साथे तमाम लोको साथे संविधान अने कायदा अनुसार संविधान अने कायदा अनुसार न्याय पूर्वक वर्तीश न्याय पूर्वक वर्तीश हूँ हूँ भूपेंद्र भाई रजनीकांत पटेल ईश्वर ने नामे सोगंध लऊं छु के ईश्वर ना नामे सौगंध लऊं छू के हूँ हूँ गुजरात राज्य न मुख्य मंत्री तरीके गुजरात राज्य न मुख्य मंत्री तरीके जे कोई बाबत जे कोई बाबत मारी विचारणा माटे लाव मामा आवशे मारी विचारणा माटे लावा मा आवशे अथवा अथवा मारा जान वामा अथवा मारा जानवा मावसे आवशे ते नी जान ते नी जान एवा मुख्यमंत्री तरीके तरीके ना एवा मुख्यमंत्री तरीके ना मारा कर्तव्यों ना योग्य पालन माटे मारा कर्तव्य ना योग्य पालन माटे आवश्यक होए ते सिवाय आवश्यक होए ते सिवाय प्रत्यक्ष के परोक्ष रीते प्रत्यक्ष के परोक्ष रीते कोई पण व्यक्ति अथवा व्यक्तियों ने कोई पण व्यक्ति अथवा व्यक्तियों ने करीश नहीं करीश नहीं अथवा अथवा तेनी के तेमनी आगड़ तेमनी के तेमनी आगड़ तेने प्रकट करीश नहीं तेने प्रकट करीश नहीं BJP leader and party's Bhavanipur Assembly bipole candidate Priyanka Tibrawal on Monday lashed out at the Mamta Banerjee government over rising incidents of violence in the state. She urged people of Bhavanipur to make history by defeating Mamta in her home turf. This is a fight against injustice. This is a fight for justice for the people of West Bengal. I would like to tell the people of Bhavanipur that they have received a big opportunity. They should come forward and make history, she said. Priyanka Forti, a lawyer by profession, is known to be behind BJP's victory in the post-poll violence PIL against the West Bengal government. The Calcutta High Court recently ordered a CBI probe into crimes such as rape and murder during post-poll violence in the state. Priyanka has held various roles in the BJP. She has been the state office bearer for the party, an English honours graduate from the University of Delhi and law from the University of Calcutta. Priyanka embarked on a journey as an advocate in the High Court of Calcutta and the Supreme Court of India. She also holds a Master's of Business Administration from Assumption University, Thailand. <laughs> Bharat Biotech's co-vaccine will get approval from the World Health Organization this week, sources told agency ANI. The government had informed Parliament in July that it has submitted all documents required for emergency use listing. WHO usually takes up to six weeks to decide on emergency use listings. Submissions earlier, Maria Angela, Simao, WHO Assistant Director General for Vaccines, had said that the UN's health agency's assessment of the Bharat Biotech vaccine was quite advanced and officials hope for a decision by mid-September. Kuki NP Manipur, which is the apex organization of Kuki civil society groups, observed Kuki Black Day on 13th of September. Kuki Black Day, which is called Sanitni in Kuki dialect, is observed every year in the memory of the ethnic clashes that happened between 1992 to 1997 period. Kuki in P Manipur Vice President Somin Thang Dungel, while addressing the media at Kuki Inn Hall at Bapupara in Imphal West District, said no settlement has been done to the displaced civilians. Altogether, more than 1,000 Kukis have been killed, 360 villages have been uprooted, and around 1 lakh civilians have been displaced. He also said that the organization has submitted several memorandums to bring settlement. However, he expressed disappointment at the state government's indifferent attitude towards their pleas. Let's have a look at what he said. What settlement has been done so far? No settlement has been done. Altogether, more than 1,000 innocent civilians were killed, 360 villages were uprooted, and more than 1 lakh 
donkeys were displaced, they were rendered homeless in their own land. And what has the central government done? What has the state government done? So we are not satisfied with the way the state as well as the central governments are handling this criminal act of NSA. So we are demanding justice. It's been 28 years today that we are demanding the justice to those innocent civilians killed by NSA. We conduct a prayer and uh, we also deliver uh, a message this Sunday knee or Black Day uh, about the incident that happened in the past. But this Sunday knee or Black Day is observed not to avenge the death of our Britain, but to remember that the killing, mass killing, has nothing to do with uh, peace and development. That we have to do this in the spirit of Christianity. Union Minister for Power, New and Renewable Energy, R.K. Singh, on Monday met with the United States Special Presidential Envoy for Climate Change, John Kerry, and discussed various issues related to climate change and energy transition. On Monday launched a climate action and finance mobilization dialogue under the India-US Climate and Clean Energy Agenda 2030 partnership. Mr. Kerry called up Mr. Singh and had a discussion with him on various issues related to climate change and energy transition. Later, the delegation led by Mr. Kerry deliberated on those issues with Mr. Singh and his top brass. The CAFMD is one the two main tracks of India-US Climate and Clean Energy Agenda 2030 partnership that President Biden and Prime Minister Modi had announced at the Leaders' Summit on Climate in April 2021. As part of America's efforts to engage with international counterparts on actions to address the climate crisis, the State Department had earlier said that Mr. Kerry will meet with Government of India counterparts and private sector leaders to discuss efforts to raise global climate ambitions and speed up India's clean energy transition. Mr. Kerry will bolster the United States' bilateral and multilateral climate efforts ahead of the 26th Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change which will be held from October 31st to November 12, 2021 in Glasgow, United Kingdom, the State's Department had said. Earlier last month, in a telephonic conversation with Mr. Kerry, Mr. Singh had told him that India planned to emerge as a global leader in green hydrogen and the country is proposing to mandate using green hydrogen in fertilizers and in refining. Later, the minister had also said that a proposal would soon be placed before cabinet for approval in this regard. Mr. Singh had also informed Mr. Kerry that India will invite bids for green hydrogen in the next three to four months to encourage viable usage of hydrogen as a fuel, according to a power ministry statement. In another shocking case of rape in the country, an eight-year girl was raped in Uttar Pradesh's Basti district on Sunday, as per the information shared by Basti's Superintendent of Police Ashish Srivastava, the police on Sunday received a call at around 6 p.m. from a resident of the Dubulia police station. 12 September, at 6 p.m., Thana Dubulia, the Rene Valle Vadi, gave a number of 112 numbers that they had been raped with their 8-year-old daughter and their parents. बलात्कार किया है गन्ने के खेत में ले जा करके उनकी सूचना के आधार पर फौरन थाने की फोर्स मौके पर पहुंची और पीड़िता को इलाज के लिए महिला चिकित्सालय भिजवाया गया जहां उसका इलाज चल रहा है उसकी स्थिति सामान्य है वादी की तहरीर के आधार पर तीन सौ छिहत्तर ए बी और पाँच बटे छः पॉक्सोट का मुकदमा पंजीकृत कर लिया गया अभियुक्त की तलाश की जा रही है जानकारी के मुताबिक मुताबिक अभियुक्त की उम्र सोलह साल है और पीड़ित और अभियुक्त आपस में दूर के रिश्तेदार भी हैं और पड़ोसी भी हैं S.P. Ashish Srivastava said that the person complained that his 8-year-old daughter was allegedly raped by the neighbor, after which they immediately rushed to the location and admitted the girl to a female clinic for treatment. Srivastava further informed that the girl is in stable condition. According to information received by the police, the SP further said that the accused is a 16-year-old and is also a distant relative of the victim. SP Srivastava said a case has been registered under Section 376 of the Indian Penal Code and POXO Act. We are looking for the accused and will investigate further after we arrest him. 
The Tamil Nadu Assembly on Monday adopted a bill to dispense with the national entrance come eligibility test and provide for admission to medical courses based on class 12 marks to ensure social justice as the death by suicide of a medical aspirant fearing the outcome of the test he was to take echoed in the house with the main opposition AIA DMK targeting the government over the incident. Chief Minister MK Stalin introduced the bill and all parties including the main opposition AIA DMK and its ally PMK besides others like Congress supported the bill which seeks to provide for admissions to UG courses in medicine, dentistry, Indian medicine and homeopathy on the basis of marks obtained in the class 12th examination. The opposition BJP staged a walkout protesting against the government move. Earlier, as soon as the House convened, leader of the opposition K. Pallani Swami referred to the death by suicide of 19-year-old Dhanush in his native Salem district on Sunday and targeted the government on the matter. Stalin said that the state government has the responsibility and duty to build a good future for students and realizing this, the struggle will continue till the union government rescinds NEET. The Supreme Court Collegium has approved a proposal for the appointment of three additional judges as permanent judges in the Guwahati High Court. Headed by Chief Justice N.V. Ramanna, the Collegium approved the proposals at a meeting held on September 9th, which were uploaded on the Supreme Court website on Monday. The names which have been approved are Justices Sumitra Saikya, Parthiv Jyoti Saikya and S. Hukato Su. Besides N.V. Ramanna, Justices U.U. Lalit and A.M. Kanwilkar are part of the three-member collegium which takes decisions with regard to High Court judges. The Gauti High Court covers the largest jurisdiction in terms of the state, covering Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland and Mizoram with three bench, benches in Kohima, Aizwal and Itanagar. The Indian Army on Sunday organized the first ever women's cycle rally in Baramulla, Kashmir, covering a distance of 65 kilometers starting from Shaukat Ali Stadium in Baramulla to Kaman Post in Uri. Around 82 women from all over the country participated in the event. In an address to the media, Lieutenant General Pandey said that they had received a request from the women of Kashmir to organize a cycle rally only for women, after which they started the registrations from all over the country and had to close the registrations after 82 entries because it was becoming difficult to manage. According to the officials, out of 82 entries, 50 were from Kashmir. Model actor Milan Soman, who was also a part of the event, said that more events like the cycle rally should be organized in the future because sports can bring a healthy lifestyle to a person's life and such initiatives encourage women to come out and participate. Zobia, a resident of Lal Bazar, who secured the first position in the cycle rally, said that she came to know about the event on Saturday only and didn't even have prior experience of cycling, but still came and stood first. Participants hailed the army for organizing the event. Tata Consultancy Services has announced the biggest hiring opening for women professionals. Rebegin is an initiative by the TCS to provide an opportunity to talented women professionals to give their careers a well-deserved jumpstart and rebegin their journey towards achieving their true potential. Tata Consultancy Services has announced the biggest hiring opening for women professionals. The Rebegin project is extended to aspiring ladies who want to make a mark and take up challenges to step forward in the developing world. Through the recruitment call, the IT service major welcomed experienced women to take the center stage, stand in the spotlight and own your presence as a change maker. The call has been made to women across India. Currently, this initiative is open for women professionals who want to get back to a job after a long hiatus due to some personal and professional reasons. Women candidates with at least two years of continuous IT experience who have taken long breaks due to family and other personal circumstances can be considered under this initiative. Paralympic pistol shooter Dipendra Singh on Sunday accused the Sambal administration of not providing him with a pistol license. Dipendra Singh participated in the men's 10-meter air pistol event in Tokyo Paralympics. 
Dipendra expressed his disappointment that he was forced to use borrowed equipment to compete in the Tokyo Paralympics as he didn't have a pistol license. Singh said that he could have participated in at least three events but because of not having a license, he was forced to participate in only one. Maintaining that he would have definitely won a medal if he would have participated in three events and expressed disappointment. While speaking to ANI, Dipendra said that despite completing all the paperwork, he and his father, who is also specially abled, have been struggling for almost two and a half years now to get the pistol license. मेरे लाइसेंस क्यों नहीं मिल रहा है और मैं उसको मतलब कि खेल रहा हूँ उसी गेम को मैं खेल रहा हूँ मैं इंटरनेशनली उन सब चीजों को कंपीट कर रहा हूँ मेरे और मित्र हैं और इस चीज का मुझे थोड़ा सा अफसोस है और दुख भी है दुख मुझे इस बात का है कि मेरे पास केवल एक इवेंट था मैंने केवल 10 मीटर खेला और मैं 10 मीटर के अलावा अगर मैं मेरे पास लाइसेंस होते तो मैं 25 मीटर भी खेलता और मैं 50 मीटर भी खेलता तब मेरे पास तीन इवेंट होते और मैं कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ कह सकता हूं एक खिलाड़ी होने के नाते कि अगर मेरे पास तीन इवेंट होते तो मैं खाली हाथ नहीं आता खाली हाथ तो मैं भी नहीं आया हूं मैं बहुत सारा कुछ सीख के और बहुत कुछ लेके आया हूं लेकिन अगर इवेंट होते तो मैं अपने देश के लिए पदक जरूर लेके आता और इवेंट तभी होते जब मुझे लाइसेंस मिलता आज की डेट में मैं 10 मीटर का खिलाड़ी हूं 10 मीटर का खिलाड़ी केवल एयर गन है मेरे पास एयर पिस्टल है वो भी मैंने रेंट से पता नहीं जैसे तैसे करके किराए पे चलाई हैं और बहुत मुश्किल से ये सब चीजें अरेंज हुई हैं अगर मेरे पास मुझे लाइसेंस एक डेढ़ साल पहले मिल चुका होता तो मैं 50 मीटर में भी क्वालिफाई करता 25 मीटर में भी क्वालिफाई करता और मेरे पास तीन इवेंट होते मैं बिल्कुल पक्का दावा के साथ कह सकता हूँ कि मैं खाली हाथ नहीं आता मैं पदक के साथ आता इसमें थोड़ा सा ये भी मैं कह सकता हूँ और मैं इस चीज को जरूर कहूंगा कि हाँ चूक हुई है लेकिन मैं अपने डीएम सर से मैं रिक्वेस्ट करता हूं और मुझे पूरा भरोसा है कि डीएम सर इस चीज को बहुत जल्दी प्रोसीजर में लाएंगे हो सकता है वहां तक वो चीजें ना पहुंची हो मैं ये भी समझ सकता हूं कि हो सकता है वहां तक चीजें ना पहुंची हो लेकिन वो जरूर मुझे इस चीज की हेल्प करेंगे और मुझे जल्द जल्द लाइसेंस दिलाएंगे ताकि मैं अपने देश का अपने जिले का और अपने ग्राम का अपने माता पिता का और सभी का अपना मैं नाम रोशन करूंगा आगे चल एंड दैट वॉज ऑल फॉर दी आई फॉर मोर न्यूज एंड अपडेट स्टेट टू हॉर्नबिल टीवी